of students. We start with a new experiment in electricity today. We will be taking two cells, they will be primary cells and we will try to compare the EMF of both of them using the potentiometer. We will be comparing the two cells by the way of their EMF. These are the two cells E1 and E2 which you can see are connected in this circuit having the main body of potentiometer. Now students, we have made the entire circuit of potentiometer along with the two cells E1 that is the Laclanche cell that we are using and the cell E2 which is the Daniel cell that we are going to use. We will try to determine the ratio of EMF of Laclanche cell to that of Daniel cell. Now this cell that you can see in the circuit is the main driver cell E. One end of which is being connected to the first terminal of the potentiometer. The second terminal of the driver cell is connected to the rheostat. Later on you can see that the rheostat is connected to a one way key. This key will further be connected to the last end of the potentiometer. Now you can see that we have a two way key which is used to connect either cell E1 or cell E2 in the circuit. And in order to obtain the null deflection we will be using this galvanometer shown here. The other end of the galvanometer that you can see as a free wire hanging around will be used to make a connection of this jockey with any of the wires of the potentiometer. Now let us take the very first reading of this experiment. We include the driver cell E in the circuit. Now let us include cell E1 which is the Laclanche cell in the circuit. For this we will be using the first connection of the two way key. The rheostat is already fixed at a particular position giving a particular amount of voltage to the wire. Now let us try to determine the null deflection point. Since there are 10 wires in the scene we obviously cannot go step by step through each wire. So the basic procedure here will be you touch wire number 1 of the potentiometer. As will be seen in the galvanometer we are having deflection only on the right side. That too is very large. If I come to wire number 2 the deflection is still on the right side. Wire number 3 again right side, wire number 4 still the needle shows right, number 5 still it is on the right, number 6, number 7, the 8th wire is still showing the reading on the right, the ninth wire if I come to the needle shows deflection in the opposite direction. It means the switch over from right side to left side has already taken. It means I now have to see where on the ninth wire have I obtained the null point. So starting with one end of the ninth wire now we will be moving slowly and mapping the entire ninth wire.
you can see the needle moving I have to bring it to the zero position now gradually it is moving towards zero and I am near to the null deflection point finally you can see that the needle is showing me zero for this particular position of the jockey on the ninth wire we can clearly see this position and look out for its value in the scale above now Gita you can see zero deflection there yes, also see the length included of the ninth wire from the scale it is 16.7 it's absolutely correct so on the ninth wire we are getting a length of 16.7 make a note of it as it will be further used in the calculation part now comes the turn of our second cell the Daniel cell you can switch off the circuit to avoid the unnecessary heating during the switch over to the next cell excuse me ma'am yes well, how will we ca uh, calculate the comparative EMF of the two cells well we'll be taking the ratio of the two lengths that we get now I have included the second cell that is renal cell in the two way key and now let us include the driver cell in the circuit again we will be following the same procedure wire number one deflection to the right number two number three number four number five wire number six number seven now at wire number seven you can clearly see that the needle changes the side of the galvanometer so I have to look out for the value of length on the seventh wire itself Let's start with the beginning part of the seventh wire. Still, it is not coming towards zero. You have to move it further. It has started coming towards zero. It's zero. And now we will see the null point. So the reading here which I can see from the scale right above the null point is 3.2. Since this is the seventh wire the reading will be 6 multiplied by 100 plus 3.2. So now we are through with the first set of our readings of length L1 and L2. We will be disconnecting the circuit once again. Now, for the second set of readings, we have included our cell E1 again in the circuit and now I allow a different amount of current to pass through the circuit by adjusting the knob of the rheostat. Now you will be seeing that I will be obtaining the null deflection at some other point on the potentiometer wire. You can see now 
I get a zero deflection for a different reading as compared to the first reading for the cell E1. Following the same procedure for E2, you can take different different set of readings by adjusting the value of the rheostat, which will give you different values of length L1 and L2. By taking the ratio of L1 and L2, you can compare the EMF of the two cells. And at the end, the average of the ratio L1 by L2 will give me a comparison between the two cells. Now we'll be having a look at the readings we have obtained so far. Now students, the readings that we have just now obtained on the potentiometer wire have been tabulated for you. Coming to serial number 1, as I had told you we were receiving the null point on wire number 9 with the reading on the scale being 16.7. So the total reading will be, before this the length of 800 centimeter has already been covered plus 16.7 that makes up to be 816.7. For the cell E2, we were getting a null point on wire number 7, which means 6 wires before it had already been mapped. So, 600 centimeters plus 3.2 centimeters, which makes it to be 603.2 centimeters. Similarly, you can attempt by adjusting the rheostat for the different different readings for the length L1 and L2. Out of this table, I will be taking the ratio of length L1 and length L2 for each of the readings. This is the answer of our first reading this is for the second and this is for the third. When I take the average of all these three ratios, I receive E1 by E2 to be equal to 1.352. Students, this ratio can vary according to the kind of cells that you have taken. For our setup, the EMF of the Leclanche cell E1 is equal to 1.352 times the EMF of the second cell that is Daniel cell. In this way, we have easily compared the EMF of two cells using potentiometer. That is the end of this experiment.